today we are here and today we are going to do a new thing and that is in bootstrap itself so today what we are going to do is we are going to create a timeline and i'll show you how to create a timeline exactly like this so this is a timeline you can see this is the first post on the timeline this is the second post on the timeline if we scroll down the page we can see there are different posts of the timeline as it goes so we'll know how to create this so let's go to the HTML first and let's create the HTML file for you. Okay, so we are here in back into the, into the editing mode where we will be creating the HTMLs. So we don't require JavaScript, so we can minimize the JavaScript for you at the moment. Right now, we also don't require CSS, so we can close the CSS. Okay, so we have a, a div class container which contains the entire page. And then we have added a page header, which is just normal. And you can see this, we have to added a H1. So this is a H1 heading for timeline. So this is our heading timeline. Or if you want, you can make it my timeline as well. I'll go with timeline. And we have again a UL, which is a list class. So we are listing things. So these are lists. These are nothing but a bootstrap list. And we are creating this using a bootstrap. So don't forget. And uh, we have made uh, and we have given it a class of timeline and then we have started listing it's an unordered list so it doesn't appear in numbers and we have created, created a first uh, list under the list we have created a new div, uh, div container class and that contains a timeline badge and we have it we have given it a graphic icon and that is of check marks you can see this is check mark this comes with bootstrap and we have given it's a graphical icon of check and we are closing this uh, i class which is of indents and we are also closing this timeline badge so this badge is closed now we are adding a timeline panel where we we are adding this card so this card is added in timeline panel and we are giving we are we are creating a new div class called timeline heading within the timeline panel for this so we would be creating a timeline heading so we have given the heading here. You can give any heading to your post. Now we will add a paragraph uh, uh, and we have given it a small so that it will appear in small. We have given text muted so it's not emphasized. As you can see the color, it looks uh, like it, it has got no mis uh, emphasis emphasize on this. So this can just appear as a source or indicating the time of the post, anything which you want. And we have ad added a clock here using the graphic of uh, bootstrap which is called time and we have uh, added as it as it was posted 11 hours ago through twitter and we have now time uh, so close this div which is timeline heading and now move the timeline body where would be adding the entire post using the paragraph class now we'll move down to this and we'll see how it goes so our first timeline is complete so we will close this likewise we have created so many other class this timeline inverted is for this graphical icon so we are now we are moving into the second post and we have this is a credit card icon so we are creating credit card so similarly you can create others other you can go through graphics on gate.boots get bootstrap.com or v for alpha bootstrap.com and you can find many of the graphical icons so this is how we we have created this list now once this list is created okay let me quickly take you to there so this is just about the list we have closed the list now once this list has been created and we have also closed a container page now we'll move to css because we have applied styles to it okay let's maximize the css for you Okay, so now we are in CSS. As we have told, we have created a timeline class. Okay, let's change. Okay, so let's keep it in half. So first of all, we'll let's go to the top of the page. Okay, so we have this timeline class that is for H1. And we also have a timeline class. Uh, UL. So this is an ID for H1. So this CSS is for UL class, which is for the list. What we have done is we have given a list style of none. So 
you, as you know in CSS we can give a list a style of numbers bullets anything we have given a list a style of none so that there would be no indentation or, or any uh, significance that is so that it looks like a list for you and we have given it a padding of 20 px on the left and uh, we have given it a uh, 20 px on the uh, top but we haven't given any uh, any any right and any bottom padding as you can see that is zero and we have also applied the position of this uh, lists are relative so they are relative to each other so on screen change they will shrink the size and they will be uh, within the same grid now before the page before the timeline class loads we have given the page the top margin of zero the bottom margin of zero we have given the page the position of absolute so that so that it, it is it is the main uh, through which we will um, how do we say it? it's the main page through which we would be able to identify other things in context now we have Content we have given it a blank so the page is blank before this time and out. We have given it up with a 3 px and background color of this. And that's all about cases for the page before timeline. Now we are adding size to this within the timeline class. How are we doing that? Or are, or are we adding the list as a margin bottom? So we are adding a margin bottom of 20 px. So you can see there is a gap of 20 px between the list so this is not stuck otherwise this list would have started from here itself instead of starting from here it's starting from here so it's a 20 px gap and the position is relative as declared earlier and we have also given it a, uh, of uh, some styles that is it it should display as a table so that it looks much clearer and clear both that is if it has any indentation any floating it would not float so clear both clears any floats anything which which is to do with the margins and let's go and check okay now we have time panel so the time panel is for the heading and the deep and, and the body itself so this is a time a timeline panel so we are adding a style to this we are giving a width of 46 percent of the screen size so if this is a hundred percent of the screen size this is a 46 percent of the screen size and we have also applied margins so that 50 and 50 makes 100 so 46 percent of the margin we have given it a float of left so this will try to align left and if there is any content on the left then it will be just next to it but it would always try to go on to the left side we have also given a border of 1px solid and gray and we have added a border radius of 2px you can see there is a uh, corner here then we have added a padding of 20px so any content within this box would appear with 20px cap from the left right and top and bottom and we have given it a box shadow so you can see box shadow here so we have applied the box shadow now we'll just go to the different css so all the codes remain the same we have applied it an absolute before the timeline panel occurs to the page we have given it a border of 15px and everything remains same even after that we have made it inline block so you can see this is the inline block so any content within this box would end and it would act like a block element and the next content would start just next to the box what else we have added for the badges we have added a background color the line height the font size so all these are added you can get this code uh, onto my blog which is codehunter.blogspot.in so you can download the codes from there these are the background colors which we have added to badges you you can just go through this as well and this not important means that if there is any style applied in any of the css that will not get applied so bootstrap has its own apply has its own uh, styles for the graphic and icons then that are also marked as important but we have marked here is important that is called inline css and that makes it as the first one to be applied to these elements so it's all about this you can check out this code you will get it on code hunter club dot blogspot dot in and you would be able to